Have you been thinking about rebranding but are unsure how to get started? In this video, I go over four common mistakes that will impact the success of your rebrand. Welcome to Weekly Brand Tips, brought to you by Elements Brand Management. Weekly videos designed to help you unlock your brand's potential so you can stand out from the competition and create impact. Please subscribe using the button below this video. And if you hit the bell notification, you'll be notified every time a new video drops. When it comes to rebranding your business, it shouldn't be a spontaneous decision or one that you take lightly. And for that rebrand to be successful, you want to avoid the four following mistakes. Not taking a strategy first approach. Now at Elements Brand Management, we take a strategy first approach with everything that we do but this is especially important when embarking on a rebrand. Now it doesn't matter the scale of the rebrand and you can see a video on the different types of rebrand here. You wanna make sure you thoroughly research the competitive landscape, your industry and your target audience as all of these will inform your rebrand. It's also important that you have a well-defined brand strategy in place, one that positions the brand and establishes a strong brand platform of your mission, vision, values and purpose. not considering why you're rebranding and what you're trying to achieve. Now, no two rebrands are created equal and the extent of the rebrand that you are doing is wholly dependent on the reason that you are rebranding in the first place. This could be due to repositioning the brand. It might be a change in strategy. It could be trying to stand out more from the competition. It might be a merger or acquisition, or it could be a complete overhaul of name, strategy, and your visual identity. And if you haven't considered why you're rebranding, it can be hard to understand to the extent of the rebrand that you need to take to move this project forward. For example, the recent Kia rebrand, which I covered in a previous video, was due to a complete change in corporate strategy, their positioning, and clarifying the core brand to their audience. They were only able to pull off the rebrand that they did and maintain their heritage whilst introducing new factors and a change in strategy, and at the same time have the impressive rollout they did because they considered why they were rebranding and what they were hoping to achieve with that rebrand. Comment below with a yes if you're looking to rebrand and also put in there, what has been your favorite rebrand of recent times? Has it been Kia? Has it been Twitter? Has it been Burger King? Let us know in the comments below. Not taking a strategy first approach when embarking on a rebrand is the biggest mistake that we see brands making most often, but close second is copying competitors or blindly following trends. There isn't anything wrong with design trends and used in moderation, they can be great additions to your brand marketing. But ideally, when you rebrand, you want this to be something that's gonna stand the test of time. You don't wanna to have to change that two years down the line when you've outgrown that rebrand or it starts to look dated, or maybe even that the company can't grow into it as a brand. Following trends in most cases can have this effect. Now, sometimes a trend will fit in perfectly with your brand and what you stand for, and your brand is, is being rebranded at the time that this trend is coming out and the two things meet together in perfect harmony. But this is very rare and it doesn't happen very often. So in most cases, if you're just following a trend for trend's sake, that is not the right thing to do when you are thinking of rebranding. Along with blindly following trends, copying the competition is the quickest way for your brand to disappear into a sea of sameness. The idea of developing your brand is so that you become unique in your audience's mind and they can identify you from all the other brands. You're trying to differentiate. If you start copying the competitors, you lose that differentiation and you lose that uniqueness. Thinking the rebrand is the end of the process. One of the saddest things I see is a brand that's gone through the rebranding process but then thinks that's the end of the line and they fail to continually communicate that rebrand to their audience and also to their internal team so that it doesn't have a chance to sink in and embed, not just in the internal culture, but also in their audience's mind. There is a common stat that states it takes seven to eight touch points for your brand to be memorized or sink in. This just indicates that the end of the rebranding project isn't the end of the rebranding process. And you need to effectively roll this out across all your channels, all your brand collateral, continually and consistently communicating this to your audience and reiterating it to your internal team so that this rebrand takes shape, takes hold, and builds your brand. 
Consistency, clarity and focus are key to making sure that all the effort you put into your rebrand pays off. Now you know the four most common mistakes that can be made during the rebranding process, you're going to be better placed when you go through that process. But if you need any help with regards to developing the brand, improving it, growing it or take it to the next level, there is a link in the description below to book a discovery call with Elements Brand Management and we can help you to go through that process or advise you on that process. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, please subscribe using the button below this video and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified every time a new video drops. Videos come out weekly and they're designed to help you unlock your brand's potential so you can stand out from the competition and create impact. Have a great week, catch up soon and keep those brands unified.